makeup and do your hair in less than 10 minutes without a mirror. I know you guys are all excited to start this challenge, but maybe you're thinking, crap, I don't know how to get ready in the morning. So to prove to you that I'm going to try this without a mirror and without looking at anything, I'm even going to put this piece of paper in front of the screen so I can't see myself on the camera. Okay, so I've only tried this once before, and the first time I got mascara all over my nose, but hey, that's the way things go, so uh, inner beauty, right? So I'm going to put this in front of the screen, and first, um, here's a quick trick to get your hair curly without using a curling iron. Well, and first, of course, I need a hair binder. I am so prepared. One minute. Okay, I'm back. I got my hair binder. So what you do, um, this is really easy to do at night. You put, um, especially if you just showered, make sure your hair is dry. Put your hair into a ponytail at the top of your head. Now this is awesome. You take an old sock like this, okay? Um, you cut the toe off. So now it's just like a big tube and you roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And now it's like a circle. See, donut? Awesome. So you put that on your ponytail, stick your ponytail through, um, mist your ponytail to make sure it's a little damp but not really wet. Bring the donut to the top and start putting your hair around at the ends, okay? Then you start rolling it down, okay? See how I like put the hair on the ends and then you roll it, put it, roll it, roll it. And keep rolling it all the way down until it's at the top of your head, okay? And then I'm going to leave it there and see it's just like a dancer bun. I don't need any clips. I can sleep on it. And so I'm going to keep that there for now while we work on the makeup. So first of all, I thought it'd be easiest if we didn't use cream as foundation because they don't have to worry about streaks. So I have this Dream Matte Mousse by Maybelline. And I use that just to fill in the creases. So I'm going to put some under my eyes and on my eyelids so that um, your mascara or your eyeshadow stays on better. Just put it in the creases around my faces. My face, not plural. Okay, then I'm going to take this powder I have from Mary Kay. It's pretty natural. We're going for a natural look today. And I'm going to rub that powder on my face to get rid of the shine and put a little color there. There we go. Voila. And then comes the eyeshadow. So I'm going to start with a base of just kind of a light neutral. And then I'm going to put lighter on right on where your tear ducts are, like a white, because that opens up your eyes a little bit, especially if it's coupled with a darker corner and crease. So now I'm going to use a darker brown for the corner and the crease. Don't worry if it's not blended in yet. I can't see it anyway. <laughs> you guys are my judges here. Okay, once again, this is going to be lighter. Then I'm just going to use a little shimmer and my finger to blend it all in together. Working this way too, so that the corner goes up and not down, so you're not drooping. Your eyes aren't drooping. And then, here's the fun part, eyeliner. I'm using a crayon because pencil, I'm afraid, would poke my eye. And liquid, I don't even want to attempt that with no mirrors. So, yes, yeah, start at my tear duct. Try to find this. I actually find it easier if I close both of my eyes. It's really all about feeling. How does it feel? So you have to kind of get used to like, what does it feel like to line my eye? What does my eyelashes feel like? So I can follow that around, making it a little thicker on the corners. Okay, and bottom too. I'm just gonna go on the corners here, not all the way around because it opens up your eyes more and I'm just afraid I'm going to poke my eye out. So then the fun tool, and you really don't need a mirror to do this at all, of course. Eyelash curler. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
okay? Mascara. Now, this is probably where you guys are all thinking like, yeah, I kind of need a mirror for this one. Well, this is just maybe where you need a friend to tell you you have some black stuff on your nose, but. So it helps the, the more closed your eyes are. It also helps some people just blink into it and you can do that. I just kind of like lift my head up, squint my eyes, try to get as close to the base as I can so I'm not bringing it on my eyebrows. Okay, and then the bottoms. I'm gonna be sticking my mouth open for this one. touch up up here okay now the hardest part is over we can just get right to the blush again lighter is better okay blend it in all right now, okay, so if you fill in your eyebrows, I'm using the same pencils I did for my eyeliner just because I don't have a brow pencil, but to find out where your eyebrow is, it helps if you put your finger right on the side of your nose where your eye ends and it points up, this is where your eyebrow should start. So you know where to start. You can always trace your eyebrow at first with your finger and then trace it with the eyebrow pencil. Same with the other side. Okay. Now, I just need some lipstick. Mm -mm -mm. And done, you're ready to go. Just very simple, easy. This is not a night on the, on the town, it's just going to class. And uh, you can always have your friends help you with going out. Okay, so now with the hair. So you slept on it, you wake up in the morning, it's still up there. Maybe spritz some hairspray on it. All you do is you take it out of the sock bun, take it out of your hair, do a little hair flip, and voila, you have curly, curly hair. And you didn't even need to use any hot products. Thank you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or anything for video in the contact me. And uh, I look forward to posting soon. All right. Take care. Bye.